Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the first back to school video of the year. This year is going to be so different for me because I am not going back to school. Fingers crossed I'll be going to university in September. So there's going to be lots of moving out and uni content coming. But today I thought I would sit down and answer some of your questions about sixth form. I did this video last year. Now that I've finished year 13 as well, I just feel like I can give more of an insight into the whole of sixth form. So I thought I would sit down and answer a bunch of questions and give you guys an updated sick form advice video. The most commonly asked question I got was how big is a step up from GCSE to year 12? If I'm being honest, I think it completely depends on the subject. For a little bit of context, I did maths, geography and economics. Geography, there was no step up, but then maths, there was a huge step up. I found it to be a lot more difficult than GCSE maths. It's not like a sudden deep dive, you do go into it gradually. The structure of the courses are different as well, you get a lot more homework but you're doing less subjects so it kind of just balances out it is a step up but it's not dramatic and it's definitely not sudden so definitely not something to be worried about a another question i got a lot was what is the step up in terms of workload and revision the thing about sick form is obviously it is a little bit more work you're doing three subjects but you do them in so much depth the homework is very different it's not like fill in a worksheet it's sort of a little bit more than that but the thing is you have have free periods and so it's really up to you how you manage your time and when you decide you want to do your homework and when you decide you want to revise once again the step up is significant but also gradual you won't get slammed on your first week with three different essays like that's just not gonna happen the next question is what was the biggest shock about the switch for me the biggest shock was the free periods I think I loved how I can choose how I spend my free periods like the freedom is just so much better in sick form I feel like the teacher actually respect you as adults rather than kids another question is what is the difference between a subject being hard at the start or it not being right for you I didn't realize this until like the first week of year 12 it's actually really common for people to drop and swap subjects in the first two three weeks of sick form a lot of people change subjects I remember the queue outside the head of sick form office it actually went through the whole corridor with people just queuing up to change their options first week of sick form i sat in my a level maths class and it was overwhelming i remember i came home and i just cried to my mom and i was like mom i am not doing that i'm dropping math i thought about it and i was like no actually i do want to take maths that was me finding it hard at first but knowing that like i wanted to do it and i wanted to keep going with it at gcse i actually started doing graphics and i dropped it and i took history i remember when i went into that graphics classroom that I sat down and I just remember feeling like oh my god this is not for me I feel like if the subject that you've picked to do at A level is not for you you just have like a gut feeling like you just know when something is not right I remember so vividly sitting in graphics at GCC being like no this is not for me if we just apply that to A level because it's the same kind of situation I feel like you just know you can change you can switch you don't have to feel stuck in that subject in the first like one or two weeks of sick form this is a very subject specific question but somebody has asked me would you recommend a level maths and what sort of grade do you think you need in order to do it i'm not gonna lie i hated it i hated a level maths but that is just because i found it really difficult i don't really have regrets in taking it because i think that it's a really great thing to have done but i think that if you want to do a level maths you have got to love the subject i don't necessarily think it's about what grade you got at gcse i think it's more about whether or not you want to do it a level maths is so much work more than 50 percent of my study periods and revision and homework and all that was maths so you have to love it because otherwise you're not going to want to do it do you know what i mean the next question is how is sick form socially different to lower school for me on the social side of things sick form was so much better than lower school first of all you have free periods i had 11 free periods a week in sick form i absolutely loved it because you can sit and chat with your friends if you want to or you can be productive like it's really up to you you're all in the same sort of common room area in year 11 and like lower school when you've got the 
whole school as your like playing field you don't bump into people and you don't really say hi to them another thing i have to say is smaller classes i felt like within my classes we had like a bit of like a community my maths class i think there was maybe 15 16 of us and we had like group chats and we'd all help each other out and we're all really friendly and like you walked lessons together same with my other subjects as well you just make friendships that i don't feel like you would make in lower school how do you keep organized in sick form organization is my favorite thing ever my biggest tip though is to have massive folders at home to keep all your work in and only take in like your current module or topic you just can't lug everything around so the way i did it was i had massive folders at home and i put all my stuff in there i just take the bare minimum in school i would also say to try and sort of like keep on top of your homework and things like that it's not really like lower school where you can just do nothing for like three days and then catch up on like a random tuesday night or just do a day of homework on a saturday you have to really spread it out i think that's one of the biggest organizational things that you have to be organized with your time time management in sick form is huge keeping on top of deadlines and due dates and all that is so important my way of keeping organized with like deadlines and stuff was i used the notes app religiously I wrote all my homework into that like I completely ditched my paper planner and I just used my phone because my phone was always on me and whatever I was I can always be looking at what I've got to do however you like to sort of plan and organize just take that system with you into sick form what stationery do you need for year 12 I actually did a back school supplies haul last year so I'll leave that linked down below let's be honest I probably bought a lot more than you need to I would say like the bare minimum is you need folders for at home and folders to take into school and then you need like pens and ruler it obviously depends on the subject but for maths you need like calculator pencils rulers rubbers don't be that annoying person that never has a pen oh and paper you write everything on lined paper and then you put it into your folder next question is obviously so subjective so my answer is not really going to be of that much value but i'll still talk about it anyways how was your mental health better in sick form than school before my mental health in sick form was just so different from lower school for me the free periods were incredible in terms of like having a break i did sick form in a time of covid a time of home learning a time of uncertainty certainty i'm sorry that comes with a lot of stress i was stressed i'm not even gonna lie about it but i think if i hadn't have been doing it throughout covid and actually had like a really great experience sick form would have been great there were things in my experience of sick form that won't be in yours that made it not always incredible for me i just think you have access to more support but obviously everyone's experience is so different but i will say that for me sick form is just so much better suited i'm gonna finish off with some questions that are super specific to year 13. the first question is is how is year 13 different compared to year 12? Year 13 flies by. I can't even explain how quick it went. If you think about it, it's literally just two terms. Year 13 is a lot more about like exam prep and revision techniques and just finishing off the courses. In year 13, you have mocks and then you'll have obviously A-levels as well. So there's more focus throughout the year on like revision and seeing where you're at. There's also a lot more UCAS stuff. Year 13 is just so fast paced. I'm not gonna lie, I loved being in the older tier group in the school. At the end of year 13, everyone just comes together and it's so cute, I loved year 13. The next question is, how do you cope with stress and balance your life in year 13? I'm not gonna lie to you, year 13 is a lot. It comes down to time management, being on top of your workload and being organized with your revision and knowing what you wanna revise and like how you wanna revise it and when you wanna revise it. It just helps to sort of have an idea of like timelines and stuff. If I knew how to, completely avoid stress i would let you know but i haven't yet figured that out the final question is what extracurricular things should you be doing in sick form to help with uni applications i personally don't feel like i did that much for uni outside of school it is very very guided with your sick form they sort of help you sign up to ucas and go through all the unis and sort out the whole application form and sort of also help you write your personal statement the only thing that i can think that i did was like a little bit of work experience just so you have something to write about 
start on your personal statement. The main thing is just going around to look at the universities and deciding what course you want to do and which one you want to study at. Don't stress about it. That is the end of my sick form advice video. I really hope you guys found this helpful. If there's any questions that you have that I haven't asked, make sure you check out last year's video because year 12 was much more fresh in my brain last year. I gotta say though, don't stress. It is literally just sick form. If you guys did enjoy this video and find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye!